Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Bomberman. Uh, the finale. Yep. Yep. We're going to the Olive Garden. We're getting our breadsticks. Anyways, there's only one area. <laughs> it's all bosses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyways. This guy's all like, Rise, Lord Bagular! Really big... Cray for Kim, uh, all the effort to revive their lord. You know, that's good loyalty there. You don't see that now good nowadays. <laughs> Literally just a brain in a jar. <laughs> Womp. Womp. I just imagine after all that speed, he just vomits. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I am so not used to being a body again. He's all, I'm alive. He's all like vengeance because I'm from a previous game. Which I should really mention more often. Oh, well. He's like, it's been a long time and it's probably only been like a year or two. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, this bomber man, I don't know. Like, oh, uh, it's hard to, like, it's hard to tell because they never really gave it a canonicity until the single player titles came out. He says, you know defeating me is impossible, but we've already done it in canon. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I revived the four guys you just killed, and they're going to stop you, even though they didn't uh, stop you before. <laughs> like, this guy has absolute confidence in this group of people who have already died. <laughs> I have, I have revived the four horsemen of the memorial garden. So yeah, we gotta fight this guy. This time the fight's in water, so he'll, uh... Uh, shock the water. You gotta jump. <laughs> and the timing on that jump is actually pretty tight, so... <laughs> Do it a little too early, you're gonna get jet. Anyways, like every boss, you just gotta keep throwing. Quit throwing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Clean. So, uh, this is gonna start something. I realized that was way harder than it needed to be. That's because I was at one bomb, one fire. So, I decide... Fuck it. <laughs> Let us go. <laughs> to the grinding spot. And this is what I think is the best grinding spot. I'm sure there's actually a better one. But let's go to Grog Hills. Let's go. <laughs> it might seem weird. Jesse, why are you showing this? <laughs> why, why are you showing this? You could have just cut it. Why not? Uh, first of all, you have to feel my pain. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's all I will say on subject right now. <laughs> but yeah. Let's just do the Grog Hills run. <laughs> Don't <you> dick. <laughs> I need that health. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we just go run through Grog Hills again. <laughs> Run past these guys. Fuck them. <laughs> T take a nice break from all this, uh, you know, war and violence and evil bad guys getting revived. <laughs> <laughs> World's about to go fucked. Ah, eh, fuck it. I want to go to the forest. I mean, what's Bangalore even doing? He got revived and he's not really threatening anyone. He's just back. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't understand. He's evil. So anyways, let's speed it up because I, like, I need more power-ups. I'm only at 3-3. Three, three. No, there's no more power-ups in the level. Shit. <laughs> so, okay, no more power-ups on this level. God damn it. <laughs> and notably, every time you complete this level, you have to go through the results screen again. <laughs> there's no skipping this. <laughs> Just imagine me mashing. Anyways... So, 3-3, three, three, let's go again, Cody! <laughs> Woo! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Let's go! Four. Maximum speed! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Oh, wait.
right? Uh, I got game over on the last uh, boss. Let's go again. <laughs> yeah, game over. Go again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> now we fight for real. <laughs> it's this guy again. This time we're not flying, though. So it's actually kind of hard. <laughs> Problem is, if you're uh, angled wrong, he'll go too far out to hit him. So if you want to get that perfect score... You gotta really go for it. Ah. Yeah, this guy, he... He fights just like he did in the previous level. It's just, you know, you're on foot. So you actually have to dodge. You actually have to dodge and fight him proper. <laughs> Instead of just <laughs> air dropping a million bombs on him. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah. Man, it really does make you want... Man, it really does make you want... wonder... wonder why you had the gimmicks to begin with. Anyways, back to this place. Uh... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm showing you every time, Cody. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, onto this guy. Okay, this guy's a pain in the ass to get the perfect score on. Um, you need to two cycle this guy pretty much constantly. You need to hit him twice per every cycle. Or else you're not getting the perfect score. Pain in the ass. <laughs> no hitting him with just once and then hoping uh and then just dodging. You have to hit him once, and then you have to hit him again. <laughs> or else you're not getting that perfect score. <laughs> ah! Yeah, there we go. Got him. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go! And he's dead. <laughs> Easy fight. <laughs> Plenty of time. Unless I wasn't two cycling him constantly, at which point there was not enough time. <laughs> Anyways, on to boss right for. <laughs> it's Nitros! Oh god, this guy again. We just fought him last episode. So you're finally here, Father Man. <laughs> Father Man's like, yeah, yeah, just dukes up, boy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's almost over. Are you excited? Credits? Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh my god, just shut up. You're gonna lose anyway. He actually calls him Bomber Boy. Oh my god. <laughs> and really? He, he could've out... got rid of the bomb nomenclature? He could've called him like... Uh, Anyways, I died, so I have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> literally just... Just... Just finally, our final battle... Well, so anyway, I started collecting power-ups. <laughs> in this, uh... In this battle, when he kicks his bombs, he does it in, like, a fan. Uh, if you just don't dodge, he won't hit you with a fan. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> if you just stand still, he won't hit you with a fan. <laughs> other than that, this is basically just a combination of all of your other fights. If you're quick, you can destroy his shield, like, immediately. Like I did in this uh, earlier, and, uh... And that you just uh do what you always do. Just make sure you're not trying to dodge when he uh, does his kick. <laughs> Which ironically makes this a lot easier than the last one. Oh well. <laughs> and look how my fast I did that. Speedy. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, he's like, yeah, where am I? Where am I here? Yeah, he was, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Bomberman's just like, what? Bomber, yeah. It's just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> yeah, he's a bomber base trainee. He's a bomber man. He is, in fact, a bomber man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The other guy can give me some really good pasta, and I said yes. <laughs> He called it my control pasta? Uh, it seemed a little weird, but I was down for it. Anyway, so he's like, I'll share my power with you. He's like, alright, cool. 
Also, we never saw Black Bomber again. <laughs> I just realized that. He was in the beginning, and then we never saw him again. <laughs> Anyways, he shares his power with us. Uh, you want to know what that does? I'm guessing it's Ice Bombs? No. Oh, it does with the kick? No. And what the fuck does it do? So, you remember how I had, uh... Three max bombs at the beginning at that level. Now I have yep. four max bombs. That that's it. It's a bomb power up. Yep. <laughs> I'm guessing oh if I was God. at one max bombs, it would have taken me to four. But it doesn't even increase my fire either. Anyways, so uh, this is all. Uh, like, what is the point of that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this fight's a pain in the butt. You just have to keep throwing bombs and dodging. Really, you gotta focus on dodging is what you have to do. Eventually, you'll get at the end and you have to go backwards. But uh, it's actually a lot easier to dodge when you're going backwards, so I prefer this. <laughs> this is actually easier. But yeah, uh, don't worry about hitting him because the bomb's home in. You just gotta worry about dodging. That's the hard part about this fight. <laughs> Anyways, woo! <laughs> and you got plenty of time to do it too, so yeah, easy. <laughs> Easy. Anyways, yep. now back, back to, to the power. Yep, stuff. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Anyways, now we gotta fight two of this chick and several tiny spider things. <laughs> and now we gotta shut down rainforest. <laughs> two furry chicks. I'm pretty sure I saw plenty of fur of art of this. Ow. <laughs> Honestly, this fight's not hard. It's just kind of chaotic. And it's easy to kind of lose track of what's going on. But as long as you keep your, like, head about you, this is actually a pretty easy fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I have immediately just did this thing. Just, like, flail bombs in their general direction. <laughs> they don't even get, like, an explosion death scene. They just disappear. <laughs> Anyways, back onto it. Let's go, baby. <laughs> back for real. Anyways, on to the actual boss fight. Final boss fight. With a sick beast beat. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're very persistent. You think you can defeat me? I've already defeated you once, canonically. <laughs> like, come on, dude. <laughs> it's like, you can never win. I just, I already have. <laughs> Anyways, uh, four more times. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, he really did kick your ass. <laughs> he might have kicked my ass a little bit. <laughs> I just love that we're seeing them all. I just love that we're see, seeing the speedrun comparisons. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, on to the actual fight. This took me like an hour. <laughs> So, I want to point out, okay, I'm going to be real honest. This guy's going to dash around. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, this fight's really long. So, the timing to get a right fight. This is, like, a perfect fight. This took me, like, two, three, like, three hours of gameplay to get this perfect run. <laughs> Needed to get the five points. <laughs> and I'm going to be completely, 100% uh, honest with you. I actually gave up, like, because it got late one night, and I had to come back a different day to actually complete this. <laughs> this is actually Jesus me Lord. editing two videos together I recorded. <laughs> and yes, there were a lot more trips to Grog Hills that I just didn't show. <laughs> Anyways, now he's a TV. <laughs> and this is a pain in the ass, because we have to find the right TV and hit it. <laughs> And the only way to know which TV is which is, uh, the wrong TVs will laugh at you if you try to hit them. <laughs> so you just have to hit the non-laughing ones. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Except that one laughed and it was the real, so I don't know. The guy that gave me is lying to me. I don't know what's going on. I just throw randomly and hope they it hits. <laughs> which yeah, honestly laugh. works for this. <laughs> just throw randomly. No calcs, only throw. Anyways. Now, the 
charges together. Form a tank! Behold, Bobber Man, I have now become a destructible object. <laughs> uh, no, he has a mayor, you're not destructible, thank you very much. The uh, external. Barriers can be broken. <laughs> well, the externals definitely can. Destroy the toys. So, uh, this one. This one was a pain in the ass, and probably the reason why I keep dying. It's mostly that laser. It took me a while because, you know, I'm trying to do it in proper time. To realize that the best way to fight the laser is to just stand back and let it happen. <laughs> don't don't try to aggressively like fight it and try to hit him too early. Just let let it happen. <laughs> just let the laser happen. <laughs> and I don't think it uh, actually showed what the grabby hand did in this uh, playthrough. Grabby hand just kind of moves forward gently and is actually really easy to dodge. <laughs> Anyways, after you break the barrier, he'll try to shoot at you directly with his laser dick. <laughs> laser oh, no. penis. Yeah. Oh no, it's oh no, he's using his super laser piss. Super laser piss. <laughs> Anyways, got him. <laughs> Dear God, that was Jesus a perfect. Christ, it's a point. They really expected this to be long. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, it's weird because I kept failing doing this and uh. Naturally, the run I do get, I actually do very well at. <laughs> That's just the way I do things, I guess. Anyways, he's going to be all like, all right, well, you killed me. Anyways, I'm still speaking, though, so here's some bombs. <laughs> yep. But what he doesn't realize is that I am, in fact, Bomberman. I am immune to bombs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that does not track. <laughs> Yeah, well, and tracks here. Longer. See, he's fine. <laughs> he was in the explosion, and he's fine. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Woo! Gold! I got maximum gold. Heck yeah. Now back to the bonus area. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, no. It's uh, ending. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Finale. Here we see Black Bomber who disappeared at the beginning. <laughs> flying in. With red and blue bomber. Naturally, because she's, uh, honestly, she's just, uh, gives him a medal. Plenty of that. And then, obviously, because she's discount Princess Peach, give him a kiss on the nose. <laughs> And then uh, P-Bot's like, yo, you got that sweet princess ass. Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, Bomberman's like, yep. And then the princess is like, yep. Uh, awkward. Nobody's got anything else to say. <laughs> and then P-Bot decides to go play Minecraft. Anyways, and then they wave. To this massive crowd of other Bomberman who could have been helping this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> they could have been helping. <laughs> Remember, it took them until Bomberman, uh, for Bomberman to actually have, like, five other people to actually help. <laughs> like, Planet Bomberman is a planet full of Bomberman. So, there are a lot of people who could have been helping. <laughs> they have the whole academy that was mentioned earlier. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end. Anyways, now we get this fantastic end song for the credits. <laughs> so what'd you think of the game, Cody? Um, honestly, it, like, honestly, like, I kind of... I kind of like some of the stuff they're going for, but a lot of the design's a fucking mess. Like, good lord. I do like the weird design of this game. Like, you say mess, I'm like, ew, interesting. <laughs> I'm just, like, interesting. I find the... Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, but, like, the problem is that, like, so many levels just, like, all right, here... Instead of, like, trying to applicate, like, some, some of, like, the actual bomb mechanics and whatnot, a lot of them are just like, all right, here's this ridiculous game, here's this ridiculous gimmick that's never going to show up ever again. This is true. But a lot of platformers are doing that at this time, so, 
<laughs> yeah, but even still, they at least incorporate some level. But they at least inc incorporate some level of basic game <laughs> gameplay. Like the fucking King of Ruin literally only shows up for like two stages and <laughs> stages, and it just does nothing. Same with the snowboard. <laughs> snowboard only showed up for two stages. So yeah, I do agree. The random uh, gameplay changes are pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, like a lot more of those stages could have been like that final bonus bonus level level where there was the many aspects of puzzle platforming and they're using the bomb mechanics. Oh yeah. I don't know. It's true. There could be like more puzzles or more like usages of the bombs for platforming. Weirdly enough, Bomberman 64, which does not have jumping, uses the bombs for platforming a lot more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, in Jenner, in Jenner, there, there wasn't as much of a platforming aspect like, to it, but you had to use a lot of the bomb, but you had to use a lot of the bombs and animal companion, companions for, companions for puzzle so solving with the bombs. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. We're done. Hold on. Give a final thoughts in a sec. I gotta show you something. Wait for it. Boom! We're not done, Cody! This isn't the finale! We got one more world! <laughs> one more world! Let's go! Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's our reward for getting all the atom bombs and getting fives on all, every level. One more world. <laughs> With the true ending! That's right. We have to do it all to get the true ending. <laughs> So, hope y'all join us next time, because this wasn't the finale. <laughs> this wasn't the finale. <laughs> Kill me, God. Take me now. <laughs> Take me now. <laughs> and on this white screen, of God just beaming him away. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll continue with my thoughts next time. <laughs> but I like the platforming in this game. It, it does feel pretty good because mostly because of the way Bomberman like he has such a high jump and that gives you a lot of free movement with your jumping and moving and throwing bombs like a maniac is kind of fun even if it's not very like, accurate. Don't <laughs> like don't give me my I don't find the bomb throwing and the platforming companions. I just think the bomb uh, the bomb is heavily under underutilized. I feel like bomb mechanics are heavily underutilized, which is something that I should not have to say for a Bomberman game. So, there are games, I've noticed this uh, a lot, whenever a uh, single company makes a single game franchise, like, constantly, where every once in a while, you'll come across a game where it's quite obvious they want to make a different game that wasn't this. At this point, this is, like, your, like 20th Bomberman game or something. <laughs> there were a lot of Bomberman It's, like, their 10th Bomberman game. You can tell playing this game that they didn't want to make a Bomberman game. <laughs> they wanted to do something else. <laughs> oh, definitely. And I see that every once in a while where it's like, uh, this is their, like, mostly, it's mostly when they start incorporating a lot of mini games that you start noticing that <laughs> it's like, this is a, what, they want to do something else, <laughs> but they're forced to by mandate. <laughs> I think I noticed that with uh, Mario and Luigi se series, like uh, Bowser's Inside Story had a lot of mini games, but like Dream Team and uh, uh, Paper Jam, oh boy, they, they did not want to make a Mario or Luigi game for those. <laughs> Alpha Dream was sick of them by that point. <laughs> oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Especially with how much they cracked on shitting on Luigi in those last two. Good lord. Anyways, I mean, like I get, I mean, I get there was like a tone for that in the previous games, but good God, it was just borderline abuse, at, abuse by the end of the series. Anyways, that's a discussion for the podcast, though, uh, <laughs> which I really need to do more podcast episodes. Uh, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. We'll be back. <laughs> We've got two more episodes. We got the net, this world that just popped up, and then we got the bonus episode with all the bonus content and stuff. <laughs> so hope you all had fun. Bye. Bye.